Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program that calculates the remainder of two given numbers without using this modulus operator. Generally, we use this modulus operator that is percentile operator to find the remainder of two given numbers. Let's say there are two numbers. A is equal to nine comma B is equal to four. Like this, there are two numbers. One number nine is assigned to the variable A. Another number four is assigned to the variable B. Now, if you have to find the remainder of these two numbers, what we have to do? We have to say A percentile B. So what is the remainder guys in this case? Divide this nine by four. Four to the H. Remainder is nine minus eight. That is remainder is one. Right, this is the reminder. But here we should not be using in this Java program. We should not be using this modulus operator. Without using this percentile or a modulus operator, we should get this reminder. How can we do that? How can we write a Java program where we should not be using the modulus operator and still get this reminder one? Let me show you that practically. We can write some logic guys using that. We can get the reminder even without using the modulus operator. We can get the reminder. So let's write this int a is equal to nine comma b is equal to four. There are two numbers like this assigned to the different variables a and b. Now I should not be using the modulus operator. So how can I get? First of all, what I will do is I will create another variable that is dividend. So we can find the dividend, guys. Okay. First we'll divide these two numbers and get the dividend. So in dividend is equal to simply say a divided by b. Okay, a divided by b. In this question, we are asked not to use the modulus operator, but we are free to use the this operator. Okay, dividing operator. So when you divide a by b, then you will get the dividend. Now there is a formula, guys, to get the remainder. That is int remainder is equal to this a minus the original value a minus the brackets provide this dividend and multiply it with this b the second value b you will get the remainder guys using this logic you will get the remainder so dividend what dividend you will get in this case when you divide a by b see that in action 4 Four two zero eight, right? Four two zero eight. So dividend is two. Four two zero eight. Till two only, we can divide this number four into two. That is eight. Fine, we got the two. So this is dividend. Two into four. Two into four is eight. You are deducting this eight from nine. Nine minus eight. Remainder. What is the remainder you are getting? One. The same reminder that you get here using the modulus operator, you are getting without using the modulus operator. So this is a formula, guys. You have to remember for getting the reminder. If you don't want to use the modulus operator, then you have to follow this strategy where you need to divide a by b and store that into the dividend, and you need to multiply this uh, dividend with the, the second value, that is divisor. You can call dividend into divisor, that is b, and deduct this uh, result from the a. Then you will get the reminder. Then you are going to get the reminder, guys. Now let's print out this reminder to confirm the same. System dot out dot print ln. Reminder is reminder is some space I will give plus just directly print this reminder, guys. Nothing more than that. We'll get that very simple logic is okay. If you remember this logic, that then it will be fine. Just uh, multiply this divide dividend with the divisor. Okay, here b is the divisor, right? You have to multiply b with the dividend and deduct that from the a. You'll get the remainder. Simple. Now run this code. You see the remainder is one. So this program is working perfectly fine. So hope guys you understood how to write a Java program which calculates the remainder of two given numbers. Without using the modulus operator, just by writing the logic, we should get the output. That is reminder. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.